Thomas, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. Serving with the Red Iron is no mean feat. Yet you not only served, you impressed. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd, I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. It sounds interesting, but if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with dark spawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. If this is a trick, you'll pay for it, Dwarf. Wonderful. I'll take that as a yes. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah. High Town, where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. Ah, long. 
long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, uh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You still with the Red Iron? It was just a year you were with them, right? Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. I'm a Ferelden in Kirkwall. I don't have much say in who I deal with. Bust some teeth, then buy the drinks. It worked here, but guards can be strange like that. You have a unique charm, Aveline. I doubt the same would work on the door. If you're stuck, at least bring me along. I could sleep through the jobs I'm given here. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Caleb. I love that life, but there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure, but I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. I don't dwell on it. I guess we had that in common. Then I would have liked him. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. I'd been away already. 
I don't know if I'd still call it home. Sometimes the best thing about a place is that it's where you're from. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You have a name, or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission. 